The implications of Russian airspace closure are being felt widely across the industry, from your big airlines to small ones and ones that are yet to even start. For example, Virgin Atlantic announced only a handful of days ago its plan to cease operations for good towards Hong Kong, in a move that will end a 30-year presence at the hub that has been so critically important to them. It's a decision that, according to Hong Kong, took time, given it has been flying into the location for three decades. Leaving was never, therefore, going to be an easy decision. The carrier has cited many reasons as to why they've suspended their flight to the Asian hub city, one that they firmly have been proud to serve. In terms of reasoning, the carrier has said that they were left in a rather tricky position following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which took place in late February and of course continues to this day. Thanks to the invasion, there was a ban placed on utilising Russian airspace for flights through to Asia and other destinations. It means that a flight that essentially would be usually very straightforward is now two hours longer almost than it initially was. Virgin Atlantic are not the only airline that has faced these certain implications, and it makes, if the flight is actually operating, the results from it not necessarily as good as they once were, leading to airlines re-evaluating whether it is worth keeping it on their network. Pair that with the rather tough restrictions we've witnessed in Hong Kong, which yes, are easing, but not after years of hurt and much more, and the airlines really struggled and was trying to find a way to continue serving this destination, but it just seemingly is not there. It's actually been there almost a year since the last time the British airline flew to Hong Kong. This came after we saw a resurgence in the pandemic, restrictions and therefore Hong Kong tightening borders and more, leading to, as heavily described, the continued downfall of also the local airline, Cathay Pacific. All things permitting, Virgin Atlantic was meant to return to the location from March 2023, when the impression was restrictions would be severely eased. They'd find it even easier to navigate through to Asia, even with the possibility of the airspace reopening, although this part could be definitely labelled as wishful thinking. This announcement also slams the door on that March 2023 return, but see, never say never. Hong Kong was an essential service for the British carrier, leading up right to the pandemic and of course the Russian airspace closure. But conditions meant that it had to leave after 30 years. When all these matters ease and pass, there is a genuine possibility that they'll just likely reevaluate and explore the potential of returning once more. For now though, exiting such a location, as hard as it may be, will enable the airline to offer more reliable, streamlined and importantly, profitable services. And at the end of the day, sometimes you have to make these tough decisions to ensure that your routes are profitable. And rather than keeping it on for the sake of it, cutting it at this moment is the best decision for Virgin Atlantic, even if it will unfortunately impact around about 50 staff as per Bloomberg that are located out there. Thank you very much for watching, of course, under the circumstances. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments and a massive thanks to the cabin crew members here on the channel.